hundred percent. I'm, you know, I, I'm thinking about, uh, cause this, you're just speaking so powerfully. I, I love it. Um, you, you, I was, I was watching some of your show down to earth with Zach Efron and it sounded like, um, he, he approached you and said, you know, I want to use my, my influence. I'm i I'm an influencer. I'm well known. And I want to use that as, as leverage. And, and I've just been thinking, you know, like a lot of people are, are influencers or micro influencers to some degree. Um, how, how should, hmm, I'm not sure what, what should, what should my question be here? Um, how can, how can influencers like really influence outcomes versus just, you know, like instead of just building followings and um, living in sort of this uh, digital world, like what's your recommendation for, for influencers or entrepreneurs? Yeah, good question. <clears throat> Do not ever think about the numbers or money. I mean, I, as, a, as the starting point, like if that's your goal, exclusively everything needs to be sustainable and you need to also listen to that like is this going to make money is a great question because if you want to influence things and change things and you want it to be sustainable asking is is this and could this make money is a good idea is this or could this bring in more people that would resonate with my message those are great questions along the way but you have to I mean, I, again, it's an inner thing. What, what are you excited about? And what are you wanting to investigate, look at, uh, learn about, explore? What, what is that inside? And, and the trick is these things are potentially be a little feathers touch that we blow off for a week, a month, a year, a decade, two decades. And if you accelerated and brought in death, now listen to me. If you bring in the death of you and say you are, you are on your deathbed and you got to be radically honest with how you're living your life, what do you want to create? How do you want to be and who do you want to be? And that clears that shit up really quick, but you have to be willing to go there. And, and you know, that, that's the beautiful thing about, I'm reading this book literally about death and, and the Toltec shamans, which I studied for a long time. And, and that is death is always stalking us. And if we are robotic and are living our life outside of our passion and our heart, it's not a good day to die. That's why the native Americans going back to that, you know how they say that they're going out, they're battling for their lives. They're battling for their homes, their families, their food against the atrocities that have happened to them. Well, one of their slogans is it's a good day to die because they're in alignment with every bit of what they know is true. What if you approached your business, your messaging, your your passions from that perspective number one it will clear it out whether that passion is that really is that really something or are you doing it because you saw someone else doing it and they got a lot of following or they have a lot of following and you're just kind of following along or you read some how to make you know money quick and you're following some stupid program or you're following some person that promised they could get you ten thousand more followers all that crap. It's like, there's nothing wrong with those things, but when misidentified and misapplied and misaligned, then there's no juice behind it. There's no real, again, I was superfood hunting because I needed to, because I knew what I was seeing was crap. I knew that I absolutely need to look in the eyes of the farmers and put my hands in the dirt. The reason why I got got down to earth was Zach reached out to something he heard me authentically talking about on a podcast years ago. He didn't know. I didn't know. I wasn't bringing to that meeting. I was meeting a kid that was interested in what I was doing. So we met, resonated, had a great time, 
at the very end, he said, what else are you up to? I said, I have this idea for this TV show. I wasn't pitching on it, pitching him on it. I was just telling him about it. He calls me two hours later. He goes, I love that idea. I talked to my team. There was a, we have an, I have a Netflix show sitting there, but the idea, the concept of that, I don't want to do. My team said that we can turn it into your concept. And so oh. that then evolved into this beautiful concept of everyone contributing to it on production. So it, it, I, I wasn't running around pitching superstars. Not that there's anything wrong with that. I wasn't running around knocking on Zac Efron's door going, please go, you know, come on this journey with me. I really want to do this. Not that there's anything wrong with that. That's just not how it went down. It came down by way of a resonation. It came down by our authenticity. I live this way. I am this way. And I'm speaking clearly about who I am. That's what he resonated with. So much so, he was willing to walk me into a deal. The point is that life opens up in a massively different way when you get out of here in your head and you shift into your heart and you, and you bridge that gap between your head and your heart if your heart and who you are and what you are is resonating with your truth, that if, if that could be starting with playing the piano, it could unlock something that you don't even know yet. It doesn't have to be a perfect business. It doesn't ha you don't have to know what my career ultimately will be, but you have to stay, start saying yes to who and what you are and what you know. Once you say yes to that and take action on it, then it opens up a whole nother set of doors and the universe then gets really good at going, he received that or she received that information. Now that's a muscle that I'm going to keep focusing on. So it's obviously it's a start and stop. Obviously things happen. It's not perfect. We're constantly learning. But that to the best of my ability is how I listen to myself and it's a daily practice and how I continue to move forward. Like just this morning, I have, I don't know, 15 different businesses I'm involved in <laughs> at least, at least, and more is just adding up. And I, and I sat after meditation and I just started writing a list and then reprioritizing each one of them going, no, this one needs more attention. No, this one, no, these don't need attention right now. And literally just start moving them around. And then I just, just sat and stared at it and go, okay, that feels good. That priority feels good. Now I can go in my world and, and you know, if I'm given $10 a day and the amount of energy that I have, now that I know the priority, I can put a little more, quote unquote, my money or my energy into those things that now I feel are better alignment with what I'm doing and where I'm at right now. So, so that's where it kind of all comes down into the real world where you can actually start applying this knowing and this passion that you're unfolding. And also, and then also you may not know, you know, sometimes I sit with an energy. I'm like, there's something about, you know, there's something about, um, you know, this business, there's something about, you know, I want to plant more trees through Baruchas. Yes. But then there's something else mm. and I'll just sit with it. And then all of a sudden, you know, I get this organization called one tree planted.org and we're planting trees in California. And I'm like, Holy shit. That was that energy that I was sitting with and 20 million trees of our target for Baruchas. And so, and then the next thing I know I'm on a podcast with Sat Guru that I just planted. He's got a, and he's got a, uh, a trillion, a uh, trillion tree goal. And this guy's planted, I think over 150,000, 150 million trees already in India. So next thing I know, just saying yes to that energy, mm. taking some action, opened up this whole other world that if I didn't take the action, the world wouldn't have opened up. And that's where people get in their head too much. But it's also, you got to feel it in your heart. You got to allow it to go to your head. So your head can then, or your mind can, can take action on it and be the facilitator of your truth rather than trying to figure everything out first 